Hi all, everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the Fair Use Fair Dealings Guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Good morning, everybody. Today we're gonna cover one thing and one thing only, and that is Sunshine Sachs's attempt, once again, to bring somebody else in that they think can help Harry and Meghan. This might be a very questionable one, actually. So let's just look, let's go. Interesting, Meghan hired Sunshine Sachs, we all know this, whose firm has uh, taken care of clients like Michael Jackson, who was accused of pedophilia, and Harvey Weinstein, who was accused of rape. We all, we all know about this. So she hired them at this point to try to fix her damaged reputation. Now, this occurred in 2019, and the palace staff were shocked when they did that because they already had a global PR person, which was Sarah Langtham, who was helping them. But no, they realized that they had some serious issue. They, they needed to hire somebody better. But since they hired Sunshine Sachs, let's see what exactly has happened for them. We know that Sunshine Sachs spoke with Megan's friends to give them permission, I'm air quoting, to talk to Omid Scobie when they were doing Finding Freedom. And FYI, Omid released the book again on what would have been Diana's birthday. Talk about, um, God. Anyway, notice you never hear about the book anymore because I don't think people repurchase to read his last 20 pages. Moving on. We know that Sunshine Sachs represents Melissa McCarthy and got her to do this 40 by 40 thing, which by the way, turned out to be a big flop uh, for Megan's birthday. And Melissa McCarthy basically sat there and made fun of the queen. I didn't think this was funny at all and I don't watch her stuff anymore. Can we forget the poetry surprise Zoom call where she was using some sort of funky filter, which if you look at her mouth, made her look like she had two rows of teeth and like an extra tongue, where she said it, it was poetry now that got her through more than anything. And then people denied it. And here's a copy of the contract from Sunshine Sachs where she went to the poetry class. Here's a zoom in of it if you have any questions. See what I mean? Everything is Sunshine Sachs. Then, of course, we all heard how they were going to help fix a roof at a Texas women's shelter. Now, first of all, they never said how much money they were giving. Second of all, they had insurance. So for all we know, insurance covered the cost of the roof because you never heard another word about it. You never heard how much money was given. And then the third thing was we found out that the roof problem was found by somebody at Sunshine Sacks. It's in a previous video of mine. So why am I bringing all of this up? Well, first of all, it doesn't matter what Sunshine Sachs does. Their reputation is toast. <laughs> Nobody's paying any attention. But this time, I think they've gone a little too far. They're using somebody else from Sunshine Sachs. Guess who? Keep in mind that all of these articles and things said are alleged. All right. That's right. Snoop Dogg. <clears throat> He says that Harry and William are his boys and he's cool with them since he reached out to them after hearing they were fans. God knows when that was, okay? But Snoop Dogg is with Sunshine Sacks. So my question is, how much are they paying him for these stories, which is probably the only reason he allowed them? Why else would you let them say stuff like that? It's just insane. And now it's coming out that... Snoop Dogg has now invited Harry and Meghan to a delicious Thanksgiving dinner. Um, she's vegan. Of course, she's vegan who eats chicken and wears leather. So, yeah. Okay, maybe you'll get away with the turkey. It'll be interesting to see if Harry and Meghan go because, after all, Snoop Dogg is all about marijuana. He smokes it on camera. He smokes it off of camera. He is a big push to get it legalized, which I think for medical reasons it should be. But then the next thing came out. Supposedly, Snoop Dogg is saying that Harry has big kahunas because they did not invite Trump to their wedding. Like, the wedding was how many years ago? Uh, Trump's not president anymore. Like, what is this? Like, they're making such a push. But you have to wonder, is he saying these things while he's smoking his marijuana? Here's a story from just a couple of weeks ago where they tried to stop Snoop Dogg from smoking weed on the set of something they were doing. It's just 
ongoing, ongoing. Now, with everything said, let me just say, I like Snoop Dogg. I like his music. He's got a fabulous wife. I've seen her. Um, gorgeous. They seem to have a loving marriage. I just don't understand why he's letting himself be drug into this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's fin update time. Now I should tell you the other day, I heard a bunch of running around and I thought Finn was chasing one of the cats, but as it turns out, Toodles was chasing Finn and Finn actually ran to the desk where I was working and hid under my legs. So I was absolutely shocked when he tried once again to get Toodles to play with him. He wants so badly to play with the cat. Here's what I got on video. Say hello to the kitty. So Sunshine Sacks has been taking care of Harry and Meghan for the last two years. What do you guys think? Are they worth the money? Because I guarantee you they've had to pay um, them millions to try to help with this mess. What do you guys think about Snoop Dogg letting himself get pulled into this? I think it's a mistake. All right, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future uploads. Don't forget to leave your comments below. You know, I'm so looking forward to these. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to keep my email address someplace safe. You know you can write to me. Don't forget about my coffee fund. And as always, have a great day.